All right, guys, so in the last video, what we did is we set up our server, it's running fine. If we ever want to connect to it, then what we can do is we can write SSH root at the IP address, and then it just asks us for our password. Now, like I said before, password authentication is probably the worst type of authentication. It's not safe, it's hacked all the time. Instead, what you always want to do is you want to set up SSH keys. Now without getting into too much detail, I'll explain in like 60 seconds exactly what we're going to do and how they work. So in order to have a nice secure connection, we're going to make two keys. One is called a private key and the other is called a public key. Now the private key, that's just going to stay on our own personal computer. So it's a way to identify this computer that I'm sitting at right now. Now our public key, that's the one that we're going to upload to our server. So whenever we try to connect using this, you know, special formula, they're going to look at those two keys and as long as they match, well, they don't match, but they run a formula and as long as they fit together, then we're going to be able to connect. So it's a lot safer and it's encrypted so no one can spy on your connection and it's just awesome that way. So first thing we need to do is generate these two keys. Guys probably think it's pretty hard, but check out how easy it is. Just open your terminal and type SSH and remember, Right now, I'm not connected to my server. I'm just on my own computer running these commands. So SSH minus keygen. And after this, write minus T R S A. Now it's going to generate these keys, and wherever it sticks it by default, this is where you always want to put it. So by default, whenever you try to log in, it's going to look in this directory. Don't change anything, just hit enter. And if you want to protect it with a password, you can, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep things real simple. So what it did with one command is it generated both the keys that we need. So this one right here is our private key that's going to stay on our own computer. And this public one is the one we got to stick on our server so it can, you know, work together and, you know, authenticate us. So now if I, let me clear this out so you guys can see. So whenever you want to copy that public key that we just generated to the server, just write SSH minus copy minus ID, not ED, ID. So then you just write root at your server's address right there and hit enter. So after you type in your password, boom, check it out. One key added. So now what we can do is this. So dun dun dun, going, you know, doing my thing, right out to lunch, coming back. You know what? Feel like uh, connecting to my server, maybe uh, working on my website. Maybe I feel like doing work for once. So what I can do now is this. And actually, let me copy the IP address. I don't know if I had that copied still. All right. So now, whenever we type SSH root and try to connect to our server, check out what happens. We're just connected. We don't need to type in a password or anything. And you're like, um, why don't you need to type in a password? Well, remember, we have that key on our computer, and that's what it automatically reads whenever we want to connect. So, you know, unless someone's going to break into my house and start going through all my private keys, which, you know, people don't usually do, then we are now able to log in easily. And not only is it easier to log in, but we have a much more safe and secure connection. Pretty sweet. Boom, roasted.